If you've seen any of the shows that I've done on Sky or you've seen any of the writing I've done in the magazines, you'll know that my fishing is extremely varied. I could be fishing anything from a little tiny three acre lake in Essex somewhere to a 10,000 acre reservoir in France where you're fishing out 300 metres and there's loads of drag on the line. And there's really only one buzzer that's going to cope with all those situations and that is the Delkin. Now the Delkin has got a patented vibration system so it doesn't work like most other buzzers that have got a roller. It's actually the line moving over a ceramic V that causes a vibration and makes the buzzer go off. The Delkin hasn't got any moving parts and that's one of the reasons I moved over to it from a roller buzzer. I didn't know that was the reason at the time but basically in a fishing situation I'd had some freaky weather, it rained really hard and then it went really really cold and my roller buzzers froze and then in the morning I got a take and because the roller had frozen solid I wasn't getting any bleeps on the buzzer at all. I still managed to get the fish in but from then on I vowed I'd never have that situation happen to me again so that's why I moved over to him. Coupled with the fact I went fishing with a guy called Sean Harrison who's a fantastic angler and he was using Delkims and little tiny light bobbins and he was getting indications that I simply wasn't getting and that was the second reason for moving over to him. The range of sensitivity is huge and a lot of people have said to me oh Delkims are too sensitive but if you turn them down to the minimum sensitivity you might need two inches of movement on the line to get one bleep so when you're fishing in those really stormy conditions on the big venues they're still not going off if you've got heavy enough bobbin. And then at the other end of the spectrum, you can use a little tiny light bobbin, have it on maximum sensitivity, and they go off on minute movements of the line. And they don't only indicate a run, they'll indicate how fast the fish is going. So basically, the faster it goes, the faster the buzzer will actually warble at you as well. And the other thing about a vibration system is, if the fish is clever enough to pick the bait up, hook itself and not run, and you're getting any tremors down the line, the delkin will carry on going off, where a roller buzzer would just stop. Delkin's been going over 30 years now and any of you old school anglers will know that Dell used to convert the heron buzzers and then went on to doing optonics which eventually he wasn't allowed to do anymore and that forced him to come up with this one and thank God he did. Now all the buzzers are designed, tested and made in the UK and because it's a family run business every single one is tested by hand. That means that they're able to give you a two year guarantee on the buzzer and they've got fantastic after sale service. So if anything ever goes wrong, which is highly unlikely, you can just send it back to them, they'll repair it in a couple of days and it'll get straight back to you and nobody else can offer that sort of service. So let's have a look at the features that are common to all Delkims. First of all, the twin LEDs. Having them either side of the rod means whatever side you're sitting, you can still see the LED go off. They come in six different colours, they're extremely bright. I have yellow, green and red, which is quite unusual. Most people have the same colour in all their rods, but I like to know which one's going off in the night. And then on these TXIs, there's a plus and minus setting, which basically means how much vibration it takes to start the buzzer going. So the plus is very, very sensitive and the minus is not so sensitive. So if you're using braided reel line, which has got no stretch, you need to have them on the minus and you don't have to have them set on six all the time. That's the thing a lot of people do wrong. They have them on, on the plus, on maximum sensitivity and they're going off at the slightest movement. I, you know, if I'm fishing on these big reservoirs, I might have them on sensitivity number one and on the minus setting, so it takes maybe two inches of line before I'll get a bleep, and then they're not going off when it's really, really windy. The tone and volume are also really easy to adjust, and on the tone setting, there's one of them that's just that little bit louder than all the others for some reason. It's between five and six in the high tone range, and it just seems that little bit more piercing. Now in contrast, some people like having them on the low tone because it sounds so different, and if you're all sitting in one swim, you know it's your rods that are going off. And on the volume, they go down to nothing, and I mean nothing. I mean, you couldn't hear them if you were more than a couple of feet away from your rods. And some people like that because they don't want other people to know they're getting takes. Or if you're fishing in the edge and you're getting liners, you don't want a really loud buzzer because you might be spooking the fish away from the edge. In the other end of the spectrum, they're extremely loud, and you can probably hear them 20, 30 yards away if you've got them on maximum volume. There are quite a few buzzers in the range now. I use the TXI, so let's have a look at the features of those. The thing that makes the TXI different to all the other buzzers in the range is that little fella there, that's the antenna. Now on the local setting the receiver's got 50 metres range and on the distance setting it's got 300 metres range. Now Delkin we're not saying be 300 metres from your rods but some of the waters I fish in France I can be 50, 60, 70 metres away from my rods just by the sheer nature of the lake. Your rods are down in the mud, you have bivvied up back in the trees and you do need that range from time to time. Now the other thing that's really good about this one is the nightlight marking. There's four different settings for brightness of LEDs and actual nightlight 
marking, which means the LEDs come on really, really faint and they're on all the time. Now, I don't use it like that, but some people do and they say it's brilliant. If you're fishing a long way from your rods on these big French lakes, you can look out in the dark or in the pouring rain and you see those four little night lights, one on each rod, and you know that the buzzers are on. There's nothing worse than sitting miles from your rod and thinking, did I turn that buzzer on or not? Now, that's the receiver. You've got six colours of LEDs on that, so if you wanted to fish six different colours on your rods, you could, you could do that. And you can also program four rods into one colour. So effectively, if you wanted them all on the blue one, you could have all four rods on the blue one, or you could have 24 rods programmed into one buzzer, which is a bit excessive. I think three is enough for me. The other thing about all Delkims is the battery life. I can't actually remember the last time I put a battery in one of the heads. And the receiver, believe it or not, on the local setting, which is up to 50 metres range, has got 6,000 hours of battery life, which is quite incredible. You'll know with some of the other buzzers, a set of batteries lasts a weekend in your receiver. So that's quite unusual to get that amount of battery life. The other thing about these new ones is they've got a vibration alert as well, so you can put them underneath your pillow and that will wake you up as much as the sound will. Now, if you don't do the amount of varied fishing that I do and fish all those different situations, you don't need the one with all the whistles and bells on it and there are other ones in the range that will suit any budget, so let's have a look at those now. If you don't need the cordless remote system, then the Delkin Plus will do everything that a TXI does. It's available in all six colours. It's got the night light marking as well. It's got all your adjustments for tone sensitivity and volume. And then if you want to build it into a cordless remote system, then the TX Plus box can be bought at a later date. That just pushes on the bottom, buy your receiver, and you're away. And that brings us on nicely to the EV Plus. It's the most cost-effective buzzer that Delkin have ever done. It's push button on and off. It's still got night light marking on it. It's still got adjustments for tone sensitivity and volume. And you can also put the TX Plus box onto it as well to turn it into a cordless remote system at a later date. If you're just getting into carp fishing, that's got to be the one to go for. Highly reliable and very affordable.